Well, friends, welcome back. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you about the Rainer Galaxy IUL, and there has been a lot of interest on the optics of the Rainer because it is designed on something which was not heard of in the IUL field, at least. That's the spiral design, the spiral optics. And if you want to uh, see more about this article that I have wrote, written on spiral optics, you can go on, on the optics section and you can access this, uh, this uh, article. Or alternatively, you can always use the search button. Now, uh, let me talk to you about the Rainer Galaxy IUL. Now, here I have given some explanation on the how the Rainer Galaxy IUL actually is. What is it like? So the entire six millimeters is it spiral optics? No, it is not. In the central 1.1 millimeter, you have actually the distance zone, I believe, and the. Um, from 3.3 millimeters to 6 millimeters, this is also the distance or refractive part of the lens. The spiral optics is designed between 1.1 millimeter to 3.2 millimeter. It is this, this place, 1.1 millimeter here to 3.2 millimeter. That is where your spiral optics is designed. Now, if you go into their US patent, uh, you know, this is what you will find over here. Um, there are several embodiments and one of the embodiment actually which is quite simple to understand is uh, there are two spiral optic zones. One here 56A and the 56B. These are two uh, spiral optics zones. Uh, one actually works for the near uh, to the best of my understanding. The other works for the intermediate. So this zones actually spiral out. Unlike the zonal refractive lenses, for those of you who have stayed in the industry for long, you will know that the long time back we had this array lens uh, from the AMO and um, that zonal refractive lens actually had alternate zones of refractive power. So you have 24 diopters say that work for the distance and then the 27 diopters that work for the near. And uh, then again, 24 diopters followed by 27 diopters. These were zonal refractive lenses here. The zones were confined to itself. Unlike here, where the spiral actually is, is circling out like spiral optics, you know. So it is kind of spiraling out. So the near actually is spiraling out and the intermediate is also spiraling out. So there are two zones of spirals over here. Now, there are different types of spirals that can be created and I have given an explanation over here. So, these different types of spirals is that you can see over here as the spiral goes out, you know, uh, the distance between the two spirals becomes smaller and smaller. Uh, that's basically called the logarithmic spiral or this format spiral. Um, uh, so, the other type of spiral over here I have given an example is the Archimedean spiral where the spirals are of the same you know, uh, length, you know, so uh, so the distance between each of the spirals remains the same. That's basically the Archimedean spiral. So the Rainer does not tell us what kind of spiral it is designed, neither do we need to know that, as long as we know that the central 1.1 to 3.3 mill, 3.2 millimeters is actually spiral designed, and uh, it, that basically gives the lens the near and the intermediate. Now, let me explain to you also that, uh, let me, uh, where does the spiral optics has an additional benefit, you know, other than having a near and intermediate spirals? So, if you see in your kitchen sink, if you have, uh, you know, put the drainage uh, stop over here and the water is not draining out, but suddenly you, you flush the water out, the drainage plug, you have unplugged it and uh, you're flushing the water out, you create a vortex of uh, water and that is because of angular momentum as water actually starts circling, sorry, as water starts circling and it goes closer to this drainage pipe, it actually gains in angular momentum, gains in more speed uh, to uh, say in a very simple term, it gains more speed. And that's why this vortex of vortex of water is created. And that is also maybe created with spiral optics design. So as actually um, the uh, light passes through this spiral optics over here, not only does it actually, uh, uh, the spiral, design of near and intermediate powers are bringing the light to its focal points but also between these two focal points because of the spiral optics design because of the angular momentum it creates a vortex of the light that actually fills it up the between the two focal points that are being created by these two spiral zones right now there could be an argument that what about the transition zone you know uh, you have these two uh, spirals of alternate refractive powers, then what happens to uh, the uh, 
uh, to the light over here in this transition zone. This could be uh, the source of potential dysphotopsia for the patient, right? And for that, you could see in their patent over here, they have this transition zone over here from one power to another power. They have a transition zone and the transition zones height are given in H1A and the yellow sections, the H2C, H1D and H2D. These are basically the transition zones so that the power shifts from one spiral to the other spiral quite smoothly. That is how this spiral may have been created here. And, um, you know, this is the view under the microscope in the central 1.1 milli millimeter. As I said, you do not have the spiral design. The spiral design is in the 1.1 to 3.3 millimeters. And, um, you know, the outer refractive outer part is also refractive from central 3.3 millimeters to 6 millimeters. And I've given you the impression of the Rayner galaxy isle here. But as we know that in optics, there is no uh, free lunch. If you have to get something, you have to give something. So what, are, what could be some potential challenges over here I have listed. But no doubt this is a new kind of lens. This is uh, something that we have not seen before in the IUL field, though we have seen this in the contact lens. The here is basically a uh, patent, uh, US patent on a contact lens that has been designed in the spiral optics uh, fashion. So here you can see one spiral is dedicated for the distance, the other spiral dedicated for the near, one spiral dedicated for the distance and then again for the near. There are two spirals over here. Um, and um, so that was basically about the Rayner Galaxy IUL. You can uh, access the I and this article under the optics section or you can just simply, uh, you know, type in Rayner and uh, go for this for this for this write-up. Thank you very much for your patient hearing.